Hello, my beautiful Virgos. How are you? It is B. Welcome to my channel, Psychic Sounds by B. Thank you so much for joining me. This reading is for Virgo Sun, Virgo Moon, and Virgo Rising. You may want to listen to this reading as it relates to your love life in its entirety if you have Venus or Mars in Virgo. Virgo, happy, happy birthday. I am doing the reading for September and October. And um, this particular reading for you, since it is your birthday month, you will be getting your extended reading for free. Thank you so much for all your likes, your shares, and your subscribes. I certainly do appreciate it. Yes, I am getting a new camera uh, for right now. However, I will be using this one, so more to come on that. All right, guys, let's go ahead and let's get started. Virgos, what do we have going on for you for the month of September for general energies for Virgos, general energies for Virgos, general energies for Virgos. Here is your general energy. What do we have going on for your work life and financial life, Virgos, work life and financial life. There is your work life and financial life. What do we have going on for your emotional life and love life, Virgos, emotional life and love life, emotional life and love life. There is emotional life and love life. And what do we have going on relative to your health and your well-being? Health and well-being. Here's your health and well-being. All right, let me move this. Okay, I just have to make some space. Okay, now I am going to be pulling from the Toth deck for the month of September. And then once this is done, or I'm sorry, the month of October. And once this is done, then I will pull all the clarifiers and the extended uh, energies for you and guidance. What is the general energy for Virgo? General energy for Virgo. Here's the general energy for October. What is work life and financial life for October, Virgo? Work life and financial life. Here's your work life and financial life. What is your emotional life and love life, Virgo? There is your emotional life and love life. And what is your health and well-being? There is your health and well-being. Okay, Virgos, let's go ahead and let's get started. What are the general energies for you for the month of September? Virgos, you do have the Three of Cups. So when we talk about the Three of Cups, this is about society. This is about camaraderie. This is about a celebration. This is about a conclusion to something. I am feeling a conclusion to something. Now, I don't know if it's going to go one way for some of you or another way for others of you, but I am feeling that energy. So some of you are really celebrating, but others of you, you feel like there's a conclusion to something. So that is certainly coming up here. This could be going out with friends, having a good time with friends, going out, drinking, socializing, just having fun. There might be a birthday celebration. There might be a wedding, a christening, a bachelorette party, a bachelor party, but definitely coming up here, you are toasting to somebody's success or perhaps Virgo, somebody around you is toasting to someone else's success, but this is certainly coming up here. And I will see if I get any downloads as I go through the cards and, and finish. And I might get downloads while I'm reading, but overall, you'll know what's going on as these um, as I I get the messages that come in. So your uh, work life and financial life is the Two of Swords. This is interesting, Virgo. There is something going on in your work life and in your financial life, or in some someone that you know, a friend a coworker, a loved one, a girlfriend, a boyfriend, whatever, and mom is the word. Now, I'm wondering what this means. I really am Virgos because I'm sensing gossip, okay? I am sensing gossip, and it's like the gossip is ending. Maybe that's what the conclusion was. Maybe someone was gossiping about you, Virgo, and some news or some situation came about and all of a sudden they're not gossiping about you anymore. In fact, they're not touching anything with a 10 foot pole. Now to the alternative Virgo, you could have been gossiping about someone and 
Now you're quieting down for whatever reason. It feels as though everything has gone silent for whatever reason. See no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. At work, in your social life, everything. This is what is coming up, Virgos. Now, for some of you out there for your work life and financial life, you could be weighing out a decision. Do I go left? Do I go right? I am sensing here, Virgos, whether you go left or you go right, you can still make this work. Okay, you can still be successful. But the, the interesting thing here is you have to come from the heart, the pure heart. You've got to look at your place in this situation, what you contributed to this dynamic, what the other person or the other group contributed to this dynamic. And because of that, if you come from the heart and take ownership and accountability, you will be successful. If you're trying to man manipulate, coerce, or control, you may not be as successful. So please just be aware of that particular type of energy. So what is going on with your uh, emotional life and your love life for the month of September of 2018? You do have the chariot card. So the chariot card is about a Gemini, a Cancer, or a Piscean person because we do have duality here. To a lesser degree, a Libran person might be of significance for some of you Virgos out there. Uh, you could be traveling with a loved one. A loved one could be traveling with you. Um, your loved one may have to leave to go work somewhere else or perhaps they've gotten another job and now they're having to travel away from you. Okay, you might have a loved one in your life that is not talking to you right now. They're not, um, they're not saying anything or you're not saying anything to them or about them. And I'm hearing about someone else. So somebody has been talking smack about somebody else, either about you, about a friend. Um, you know, you could have been doing this as well, Virgo. Just be aware of that. Okay, but there is a level of movement. There's a level of transportation. There might be issues with your girlfriend's car, your boyfriend's car could be coming up here for whatever reason. They don't know what's wrong with it. I just heard for some of you Virgos out there, you have a loved one that um, is in the hospital and you don't know how it's going to turn out. Um, they can't find the root uh, cause of the situation. So they're looking into it further. They may have to be transferred to another facility or another hospital. I just heard that. Uh, for some of you Virgos out there, there could be something going on relative to some sort of theatrical production. Uh, it could be your children are in a theatrical production, or you could just be going out with friends to the opera, to, um, you know, any type of, um, you know, orchestra or, or symphony or something like that. But it is coming up here. For some of you Virgos out there, you may have um, a significant relationship with someone who is of a different culture than you as well. So let me see what else I am picking up here, but I am sensing for the majority of you, now not for all of you, but the majority of you, a loved one, uh, a coworker, a friend, a family member, um, yeah, spouse, uh, wife, husband, is has kind of, I'm, I'm hearing the song Cold as Ice, and I think it's by Foreigner. So there's something about being cold as ice. Maybe you guys, maybe some of you guys out there are putting ice cubes in, in your glass right now and you're making yourself a drink. I don't know, but there's something about being cold as ice. Okay, so um, either you're going to say that or somebody is going to say that to you for whatever reason. But again, if this is a celebration, maybe you're kind of like, do I want to go? Do I not want to go? I'm hearing what are people going to think of me or, or, what am I going to hear when I get there? Something about that, okay? It's almost, I, I, Virgo, I don't know what you did. I don't know what somebody else did to you, but there's some level of like a karmic situation or some gossip or some, some words or somebody needing to defend themselves or trying to stay on top of something 
and you're trying to find a savvy way to do that. But I think you just need to let sleeping dogs lie and not worry about it. Just don't worry about it. Let it go. Okay, so that's coming up for some of you and that's kind of a specific message. So what do we have going on for your um, uh, health and your well-being, Virgo, for the month of September? Well, Virgos, for the month of September, you do have the Nine of Swords. So when you have the Nine of Swords, you are in a state of anxiety, worryment over a loved one, over a situation. Virgos, did you stab somebody in the back? I'm really picking this up. If you did, remember, Saturn is going retrograde. It's immediate karma. So please, if, if you haven't, good. Don't even go there. Because for some of you that have, and this could have been in a, a social situation, friends downtown, friends uptown, you know, a group of people, and something happened and all of a sudden they're not talking about this person anymore and they're not supporting you talking about this person in an ill manner anymore either. Now, Virgos, this could actually be also where you, if you were stabbed in the back, maybe people are being a little bit quiet about um, the gossip that has been going on around the, the town about you. But this could be coming up here for whatever reason. For some of you Virgos out there, you are having a hard time sleeping. You cannot sleep at night. Something is bothering you, Virgos. I'm just sensing something's bothering you. Maybe you have a migraine after going out all night and maybe have having a few drinks. That could be happening as well. So please just be aware of that. So we do have that coming up. Um, some of you are suffering from insomnia back pain, shoulder pain, neck pain. Um, some of you might have gotten in a minor fender bender. Okay, maybe. Virgo, some of you out there got a DUI or somebody that you love got a DUI and you don't want anybody to know about it or um, whether it's a loved one that got it or whether it's you that got it, you don't want anybody to know about it. That is what I'm picking up here. All right, let's continue. So what do we have going on for the Virgos out there for the month of October? Guys, I am seeing that I have a delay in my video. Probably means that my energy is really high right now. So I'm gonna try to calm it down just a little bit and try and get through the reading. So what is your uh, energy for your general energy for the month of October of 2018? You have death. I don't know if you can see that. It is death. Okay. So when you have death, Virgos, this is exactly what I was picking up earlier. Something is ending. Um, it's almost like a bully. Like if somebody's bullying your children, that is ending. If you've been bullying somebody, stabbing them in the back, talking about them behind their back, um, throwing them under the bus, making their reputation look bad, that is also ending. If somebody's been doing that to you, it is ending with you. Many of you uh, Virgos out there are going through a massive transformation in the month of October for whatever reason. For some of you out there, um, there could be a situation in October where you are having to look at, um, perhaps you get the feeling like you need to look at your, your will, okay? Whether it's the will of yourself or maybe you're helping somebody um, figure out their own will. And that could be what is going on here, but that is coming up here. There could be a significant Scorpio person in your life um, that is playing a role regarding this transformation. So please be aware of that as well. So what do we have going on? And I don't know why skeletons are coming up. I know why skeletons are. It's October. It's Halloween. Okay. So some of you might be dressing up like a skeleton or you might have skeletons on your home or you're getting you're getting um, all of your decorations to make up your home and make it look really cool for Halloween. 
but that could certainly be what is coming up here. So what do we have going on relative to your work life and financial life? Cruelty. My goodness. Virgos, seriously, you, you have the nine of swords. Uh, you have the nine of swords again. Virgos, have you been cruel to someone? Or have you been saying things about them behind their back? Because remember what I said, I've been trying to remind everybody about this. And I'm not saying that you're doing it. So it could be happening. You could be doing it to somebody or somebody could be doing it to you. But what's happening here now, the karma is boomeranging back to you. So if you put a lot of negative, nasty energy out there, it's coming right back at you. So try to get yourself clear, uh, go to the sacred neutral, try to make up for lost time, do whatever you can do. Because even as karma is immediate, it is both for the good karma and the bad karma. So if you've done something, if you've done something against somebody, against their reputation, their integrity, please make sure that you correct it as soon as possible. Because if you don't correct it, you're going to be facing some serious stuff, Virgos. Serious. I don't want you to have this energy for your birthday. Now, again, Virgos, this might be uh, something that is going on uh, around somebody around you that you love. Maybe they're going through this. Maybe you feel like you are it's almost like where you're working is like cruel and unusual punishment okay or you people are telling you this is cruel and unusual punishment maybe maybe somebody's telling you that as the virgo many of you virgos might be working very very long hours like all into the hours of the night you're trying to find a solution for something but it just keeps escaping you for whatever reason so that is definitely coming up here there might be a situation here virgos where there was a divorce and there was some sort of litigation. There was some sort of, um, you know, legal action that was taken. And you're feeling that the judge is being cruel to you. Like whatever sentence is coming down, Virgos, you feel like it's very, very cruel. Okay. Or you feel like your ex-spouse could be getting very cruel with you. So that could be what's going on for some of you out there. I mean, I think you're you're holding steady with your finances, but for some reason you feel like the rug has been pulled out from under you. So that could be what is going on for some of you Virgos out there. So what do we have going on for your emotional life and your love life? You have the magician, I believe this is. Sorry for the blurry. The blurriness there, guys. It just, it is what it is. Okay. So, um, let's see. Yes, it is. This is the uh, magician. And so you may have a Gemini, an Aries, or a Capricorn. Okay. That is significant in your life relative to your love life. You may have because of the surrounding cards, I just have to be honest with you, you may have manipulated this person. This person may have manipulated you. Um, you feel like this is cruel. You feel like... I'm just feeling for some of you Virgos, you, you feel like you want to go back into the past and change something or you wish something would have turned out differently than it did. And this may be by your own hand, Virgo. So just be aware of that. I'm just letting you know. And like I said, you can make the karma positive. You just have to, you know, give forgiveness and give thanks and, and, and fix the situation as best you can. And you will get positive karma. But I'm just sensing with these particular cards, this it feels like the if you put bad karma out there, it's coming back. There's manipulation, there's coercion, there's lies, there's trickery in a relationship. You might be doing this to somebody. Somebody might be doing this to you. You might be tricking a friend. For some of you Virgos out there, you might be telling a friend, no, you don't want to date her. You don't want to date her just so you can date her. I mean, you, you're doing something manipulative or somebody around you is doing something manipulative to control someone else that is no longer in your life.
or somebody's doing that to you. But it certainly is coming up here, Virgos. Be careful with this energy. It could backfire, okay? Um, just be aware of that, all right? So what do we have uh, going on? And again, like I said, I, I feel for a lot of you, this is the death of a situation. It feels like the death of a situation. Um, it feels like even perhaps there, ha there could have been, for a small percentage of you, there could have been a third-party situation. Maybe you found out about it. Somebody else found out about it. Maybe somebody's interfering in your love life. Something is going on here, Virgos, where... Either you get else. basically in cahoots to control a situation. Okay, so that's just what I'm picking up. So what is your health and your well-being? You have the Queen of Swords, uh, Virgos. So the Queen of Swords is this Aquarius, Gemini, or Libran person that is affecting your health. Perhaps, Virgos, there's something about a habit in your life that you need to change. Maybe you need to cut out fat, cut out carbs, do something like that. Because, Virgo, there seems to be, especially with the Queen of Swords energy, there's a level of separation. There's a level of divorcing. There's a level of, you know, cutting ties with something or someone. Virgo, somebody might be cutting ties with you. Maybe because you threw somebody under the bus and people have caught you in a lie or somebody threw you under the bus and now they caught the other person in a lie so that could be what is going on here all right guys what's your overall advice for the month these next two months what's the overall advice and remember guys my readings are just a little bit longer now because you are getting your extended reading um, it should have ended by now, but now I'm doing your advice and I'm going to do your um, extended cards. What's the overall advice? Overall advice? No, nope, not yet. Here is your overall advice. Now I really want to, I want to clarify these, this um, three of cups and the nine of swords. Here's for the three of cups. What's up with the nine of swords, nine of swords. Nine of Swords for Virgos. There's your Nine of Swords. I want to clarify the general energy in October for the um, Death card. There it is. And I really want to know what's going on in your love department, Virgos. What's going on with the love department in October with Virgos? All right, Virgos. What is your overall advice? Angel of Love. So, Virgos, if you have an enemy or if you have been an enemy to someone, send out as much love as you possibly can. And this is definitely picking up with the energy that I was feeling regarding the immediate karma. If you simply fix the situation, if you make it better, good things will start happening in your life again. If you don't embrace the love, then you're, you're basically going against the advice of your own your own intuition, your own soul, and you know, you're going against the advice of universe. Okay. So love is always good advice. So maybe in this case, Virgo, you need to love others as you love yourself. And Virgos, if you're not loving yourself, learn how to love yourself so you can love others. Okay. It's not about tit for tat. This is about pure love. This is about love in general. So focus on the love, focus on the love of a pet, the love of a child, the love of a lover, the love of a, of a passionate project. Come from the heart. Remember what I said at the beginning of this entire reading. If you come from the heart, you're gonna be fine. If you're not coming from the heart or if you haven't been coming from the heart, you might have some difficulties. So what is the uh, um, clarifying energy for the Three of Cups for the month of September? You have yin and yang. Again, this is what I am, this is definitely what I'm hearing here. For some of you Virgos out there, there's a, if you scratch my back, I'll scratch your back. There is definitely that 
uh, going on in your social sphere. For others of you Virgos out there, this is this is um, what is good for the goose is good for the gander. This is where that karma is coming back at you, whether it is good or whether it is not so good. But it is happening here. Try to find this balance in your life, in your social life. Because if you have created an imbalance, people are going to hold you accountable. And they're going to want you to answer their questions. Why did you say that about this person? Why did you tell me that this person was a loser? Why did you say that this person was never going to amount to anything? Now, again, you might be saying that to somebody else. You might be saying, why did you tell me that this person was this way? And they never were. I got the facts. They never did that. Okay. So be aware, Virgos, you've got this really interesting boomerang type of energy happening with you. So what do we have going on to clarify your health and your well-being for the month of September? Second chakra, Archangel Ariel. The second chakra is all about nurturing. It's all about um, connections, uh, being with loving people. So the reason why, Virgos, you're feeling the nine of swords is because there's a lack of nurturing people around you because they're holding your feet to the fire. Or perhaps, Virgo, you're deciding whether or not you need to hold a friend's feet to the fire relative to whatever has been discussed here, whatever has been done here. Okay, the reason you're feeling Nine of Swords is because of an intimate connection. So this could even be um, you find out that maybe an ex or someone you were interested in is seeing somebody else now or is doing something else and it, it's bothering you. It's keeping you up at night. Remember, let it go. Your advice is the angel of love. Okay, embrace that energy. So what is the clarifying energy for your transformational death card in the month of October? Blossoming abundance. So remember, these are clarifiers. Why is this transformation happening? It's because of blossoming abundance. So for some of you uh, Virgos out there, you are very successful. You're very, um, you know, you are slowly but surely bringing in more abundance into your life. And because you're bringing in abundance, your life is transforming. Okay. It's transforming. But because of the energies that you're feeling here and what I'm seeing, I feel, I feel like for more than 10% of you, this could be where someone around you is now abundant and blossoming. And now it's causing this feeling of death and, and endings with you. Okay. I feel that what has happened here is that either Virgos, you may have lost a job. Someone around you may have lost a job. Um, you're a little bit strapped for cash. Not all of you, but some of you are, or somebody could be coming to you saying, Hey, I need some cash. Can you help me out? Okay. But what is happening here is there's a loss of abundance. Okay. Just be aware of that. Now, again, not going to happen for all of you. It's not, okay? It's not maybe a little bit more than 10%. And the rest of you, I think you're just trying to figure stuff out, figure your budget out, figure out where your value is, where your worth is, okay? Learning how to love yourself again, learning how to love others again. But that could be coming up here because to me, it looks like there's a death of abundance, okay? But for some of you, there's abundance coming in, which is the death of a situation. Okay, so just be aware of that. Again, this could be a payout, a significant payout. Maybe you have to pay out for a claim or a lawsuit or something like that, but it is coming up here. 
So what do we have going on as it relates to the magician energy for your emotional life and love life, Virgo? Victory. Okay. So when you have the magician and you have victory for some of you Virgos out there, it does appear that your love life is not really all that bad. Okay. It can turn around in the month of October. You can be victorious. All right. However, if there was someone that was manipulating you, tricking you, uh, coercing you, then you are victorious in the situation. If you were manipulating, coercing, and trying to control or, or be tricky with people around you, so, you know, society, uh, trying to control somebody from a distance or, um, make them look bad in other people's eyes and they're not even there to defend themselves, that type of thing. If that's what you did, they are victorious. Okay. So this is what I am seeing here. Virgos, you have a very dynamic reading. You're going to be going through a lot of ups and downs Virgos, but remember your advice and your area of safety is angel of love. Give out as much love as you can, not to get love back. No, just give out as much love as you can. If somebody comes up to you and starts talking bad about somebody or starts like wanting to throw them under the bus, just say, I don't know what you're talking about. Um, I can't be part of this. I can't be part of this gossip. I'm sorry. Um, you know, I love you. You know, I care for you, but I just really don't want to get drawn into this right now. Okay, this is something you're going to need to do, Virgos. You will be confronted with this. All right, for those of you that have not listened to my new moon in Leo video, you might want to do that because this, what you're going through right now is very similar to the energies that are going to be lasting for the next four to six months. All right, but there are areas of your life where you have the ability, the capability, and the opportunity to create abundance but the only way to get that abundance is by loving yourself and loving others, okay? And standing in your integrity and not um, um, compromising someone else's integrity, okay? All right, guys, I wish you the best. Much light, much love, and many blessings. Namaste.